Welcome back to the Daily Grind, everyone. So a couple days ago, we tilled up this section here, and it wasn't really that difficult. There's Eli, he's mm -hmm. helping me out, picking up some rocks. And Abby. Uh-huh, Abby's gonna be here helping too. And we tilled up this section, and we planted some wheat. And it was difficult, but it really wasn't all that bad, not as bad as I thought it would be, so. some exercise. Good, hun. So I decided we're gonna till up another section right next to it. We're gonna leave a little section that we can walk in between. Basically, we're gonna start improving the dirt. The soil here is very hard and compact, but if I can till it up and plant some cover crops over it, it'll help suppress the weeds and it will make the dirt a lot better. So that's what we're gonna do. Tiring work. It is tiring work. But here is the tiller that I use. It's just a hand tiller. I don't have any heavy machinery. Um, and we've got very rocky, heavy clay packed soil. So it's not easy, but it's possible. Yeah. All right, so I'm leaving a little section here in between. I'm gonna come out a little bit. That way you can walk in between. You just step on it and twist. And, and this one, do it. Hey, watch out, honey. I don't wanna hurt you. I'm gonna okay? show this one. Oh, okay, we'll do that later. Can you hold on? The only problem is it doesn't go in real deep. So we're basically just scratching up the surface oh. for the first round, and then we can water it and that allows the water to soak in really well. And then tomorrow we can come in and get much deeper. I tilled this, trying to get all the rocks and stuff that's on the surface right now up. Another nice thing is when you water it, it shows you the rocks a little easier, but I kind of like these more thinner ones because I can reach in the center a little easier and grab the rocks without standing on what I tilled. So over there, there's some rocks, but if you want to grab them, you can see them now on the surface, see them? All right, we're back at it. Next day here, it's almost about 11 o'clock. This has dried a little bit because the sun's out about the right moisture level. So it's not gonna get stuck to this. It will allow me to get a little bit deeper. And this is a lot easier than yesterday. I'm hitting rocks left and right, just everywhere big ones record That's a huge rock uh, that must be a record this is just from the first tilling guys we're gonna get a whole lot more Eli wanted to try tilling you gotta step on it or it's not gonna go far each time Yeah, you've got roots. Now I'm just taking the rake and raking this back and forth. And that'll kind of pull up some of the rocks and expose some. Now the other thing it's doing is picking up a bunch of these weeds and stuff. We're gonna hose this down once more and probably finish this tomorrow. My joints are hurting. A lot of heavy tilling here and it's hard to find these rocks it'll, yeah it'll help soften the soil and let us till it a little deeper and i think we'll be able to next time get every single rock and Most weed of... all right you you hose it all down all right so i'm out here just dumping rocks in a little pile in the very back corner of my property here because I figure I could use the rocks at one point. But yeah, I was able to completely fill this with all those rocks. I got all the big ones out. Now for the small ones. There we go. Those are all the rocks in that one single place. Bunch of wood chips here. There's some rocks mixed in, but little ones. And then I threw a whole bunch of wood chips, bigger stuff, over there into this pile. So when we bought the place, we had a whole bunch of trees all through here, and they basically used a bulldozer knocked them down it's some kind of grinder thing that they ground it on the ground as they pushed it and pushed it all up into this big pile of wood basically so there's some small fine pieces some big pieces it's pretty much unusable i was thinking when they said they would chip it that they would chip it and then i could come in scoop it and use it in my gardens but this is pretty much unusable there we go it is nice and leveled it looks beautiful going to be a perfect spot to lay down some ground cover and hopefully some edible ground cover stuff that we can use so i ordered a couple one pound packets of seeds from the place i usually order from 
True Leaf Market is the name of the place. I ordered daikon radish because those will shoot down deep into the soil and break it apart. I also ordered some more wheat. This is all, again, an experiment. I've never done any of this before, so I'm learning. You guys let me know in the comments section what you guys think is the best thing for rocky clay pack soil to be able to make it better. So we just got this big packet of daikon radish seeds. It's a pound of seeds. Once they sprout, they send roots real deep and then they grow real fat and then we're just gonna let them die in there and it'll break up the soil and add a lot of good nutrients into the soil through their rotting roots, okay? Of course, we can use some of them along the way. So we're gonna scratch this once more. What? Scratch it, may I please? Yep, you can scratch Eli. So Eli's here helping me. He's gonna help plant. I now, don't, don't go too deep, okay? Just light, light on top, yep. A couple rocks. Let's go ahead and start sprinkling seeds, Eli. There's a lot of seed. All right. Give me a whole bunch of them. So we're not going to scatter too much. That might be too much. Like, we're pretty loosely because these get big, right? They get huge. All right. All right. Wait, wait. Well, we have a lot of them, so we can always thin these out. Is that a pound but of seeds? It is a pound of seeds. So like before, I think the best bet is just going to be to scratch these in. Some are going to stay on surface. Others get a little deeper and that's okay. Again, we overseeded this, so. All right, so we watered everything. And just so we can keep track here, it is, as you can see, December 12th. Now let's see how long it takes for these to pop up. Radish are very quick to sprout. So it is December 18th, as you guys can see. And I've got some sprouts. Now they're not big, but they're finally coming up of this daikon radish. Get you a little closer so you can see them. You can see all the little ones here. I'll bring you guys back in a couple days once these get a little bigger. They just came up last night. And so probably another two or three days before they really span out, spread out, and this will be kind of covered in green. Well, it is raining today, but this is all sprouted, as you can see, nice and green. Now there's a couple patches that are just way too thick. Those aren't going to grow very well, but even so, I'm not really using this to grow the roots. I'm using it to be able to kind of till for me. So this is going to be a cover crop. It's going to make this section really good. And then the next year I can come in and actually plant stuff. Today is December 21st, as you guys can see. And so it didn't take too long for this to pop up. Pretty excited about it. So next year, next spring, once these kind of till the soil for me, make a lot of air pockets in there, they, they really go deep. These daikon radishes get real long. I don't know if, how well they're going to do here, but you know, gardeners use these to till the soil for them all the time, add air into it. Next year should be really good planting. So it's it's a really good cover crop for my area, I think. So I'm, I'm testing this out. We'll see how it goes. And I'll keep you guys updated in the next couple weeks to months. It takes about two months for these to complete their thing. And I'll keep you guys updated with other videos on this periodically once these start growing. But thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe and also hit that bell notification for future video updates. Also, if you could hit the like button, it really helps me and the channel out. And I will see you on the next video. Now you guys try to escape the daily grind.